Hello everyone. I was reading through your comments and a couple of comments that I had about past videos about foundation was what do I do about having very dry menopausal skin or texture on my skin and my makeup kind of looking textured afterwards because it's not getting enough of that moisture. And so what I wanted to do today was bring you a super affordable skincare routine for the AM that's going to target so many of the issues that we have as menopausal women where we have dark age spots and we have even some discoloration like on our cheeks like I do. We have all this crepiness and crow's feet and wrinkles, but we also get large pores and menopausal skin, this is not the hard and fast rule, but menopausal skin tends to be very, very dry. And so after a few hours of having your makeup on, you might notice that your makeup looks dry, your face looks like your wrinkles are getting even more pronounced because your skin is getting drier. I have kind of found a way around that with my skincare and I believe so wholeheartedly that pretty makeup or pretty foundation comes from beautiful skincare. So you have to start with the basics first and then move into that. So hi, my name is Melissa. I am 56 years old. And yes, I am basically menopausal. I'm not perimenopausal and I'm not postmenopausal. I'm a right smack dab in the middle of it. And so if this kind of thing interests you, I hope that you do take a second and subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and the bell icon so that you can be notified when I put up any new videos. Okay. If you want to know what I have on for a top, this is just a long sleeved rib knit t-shirt. I threw it on because I wanted it to be very simple for this video. Usually I show what I have on. We're not going to do that today. And by the way, I do have a number system. So the products that I do talk about this morning will be put in one of these corners right here. I never can get it right. One of these corners right here will have a number on it. So I'm going to hold up a product and there'll come a number on the screen. Remember the number, go down into the description box and there will be the product product with the link. You can shop that way if you want to. I will also put all of the information in the first pinned comment. All right, let's get into what I do. First of all, when you wake up in the morning, you're going to have everything that you had from the night before on your face. So you want to do two things. Not only do you want to take off any dirt, any, you know, drool, any eye boogies, anything like that, but you're also going to want to take off the dead skin cells from the day before and from your skincare that you may have used to do that. So if you're feeling like you want to exfoliate, I want to suggest to you the most a gentle exfoliant I could think of. And the reason is, is because you don't want your skin to get all rough and inflamed before you go in and you actually do your makeup. You want it to be gentle. You want it to slough everything off and we want it to get to be super smooth. So I want to suggest the Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. This comes out as a powder and it turns into a beautiful foaming lather. And it says a powder to cream cleanser to exfoliate, brighten, and soften skin. This is incredibly gentle, but it feels so good on your skin. And as you lather it up and you feel it on your skin, it does feel super creamy. This is going to give you that boost to where you're taking off all that, those dead skin cells. I also suggest that you use a warm washcloth. That's what I use. Then you can, if you want to splash your face with water and my face is squeaky clean, but super soft and ready for all the ingredients that I'm going to put on next. Next, what I want to do is I want to attack the dark spots, attack the unevenness in, in the tone of the skin. And the thing that I use to do that is the other Good Molecules product that I have in here. And this is the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. It's formulated with Niacinamide, Arbutin, and licorice root extract to brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores. Ever since they came out with this, the very first time that I used this, it was within three or four weeks and I was looking at my skin in the mirror and even in the magnifying mirror and I was thinking, are my pores looking better? Are they looking more refined? You know, we have those pores that can get stretched out with sebum and dirt and stuff. And this was really making those pores refined. So I almost immediately noticed a difference with this. But the other thing I noticed a difference with was the brightening of my skin. Now, as you can see with me, no makeup on, I don't have the brightest of skin, but it's not bad. All of this redness, even the dark spots that I have over here from skin damage and all of that, those are the things that I was wanting to tackle, including these large pores. And I believe in this product so much. 
it really has helped refine those pores and take down any texture that I might have. Next thing I wanna do is I want to tackle the wrinkles I have, the dynamic wrinkles, the folds here, the um, 11s, the forehead wrinkles, the wrinkles that we have on our neck, um, crow's feet, all of those things, we want to tackle all of them. What I have found very recently is that Matrixol 3000 and Argireline are two peptides that you really want to incorporate into your skincare. But the biggest reason is Matrixol 3000 is a peptide that specifically targets these dynamic folds that we get. So if you have wrinkles that are deep set, that's what it's going to help soften. Now, is it gonna completely take them away? Probably not, but it's really going to help tackle them. This I have found in the past six weeks to eight weeks has really helped to soften these nasal labial folds I have. And then also all of my crow's feet, kind of just seeing that softening happen happening. And I'm hoping the further I get for into my skincare, that the better and better they will be. And speaking of peptides, I also use this Snail Bee Ultimate Tor Toner from Benton. And by the way, this one right here, I should have said who this is from. This one is from Asterwood. And the reason that I picked this one up is because it did have the Matrixol and the Argireline. If you've heard about Argireline, it is the other one that actually helps to relax our muscles and relax those dynamic folds. Now, with the Benton Snail Bee Ultimate Toner, it says this helps gentle and deep, deeply moisturize nourishment and elasticity of the skin by containing Saccharomyces snail secrete filtrate, ferment filtrate, naturally derived moisturizing ingredients, multiple peptides, and bee venom. Okay, all of those ingredients are fantastic. The Saccharomyces, those are a fermentation process that has been known to help brighten. Then we have the peptides in here. And by the way, this does boast that it does have some tripeptides in here, copper tripeptides in here. So you get the copper peptides, you have other kinds of peptides. I think it's five different kinds of peptides in here. You get the bee venom, which also helps with that hyper moisturization and the brightening and the elasticity. So you're getting a super powerhouse in here. And as you can see from the Benton, super watery. Look how watery that is. It's gonna run down my arm, it's gonna go on my shirt, and it's not at all thick, okay? Neither is the Good Molecules Nice and Mind Toner. Very, very thin product. Why do I want thin products but super moisturizing products? Because I have that dry skin, and if I think that the oils or the moisturizers those kinds of things are what's going to moisturize my skin. What's gonna happen is that's gonna interfere with my makeup. And it's going to also, throughout the day, bring more texture on because oils and moisture are not going to sit well underneath makeup. They're gonna either make it ball up or they're gonna make it later on in the day look like it's kind of mottled or that texture is gonna come across. Now I use one more, and this is a treatment for your eyes. This is the Beauty of Joseon Revive eye cream or eye serum. Again, this is very thin. This plays beautifully under concealer. One reason I love it too. It looks very creamy when you squeeze it out, but once you start to spread it around your eyes, and by the way, I put a ton on just there. That was a whole pump. You only need a fraction of a pump to get your whole eyes done. And once you spread it out, it's going to feel very thin, but hyper moisturizing. And we need all of that hyper moisturization underneath our eyes. Oh my goodness, we need it so badly, don't we? Because that's where our age shows the most. And if we can plump those up, fantastic. But not only does this bring in that moisture, but it's also going to treat and it has retinol in it, it has ginseng in it, it has all of the things that we need to treat those wrinkles and to prevent wrinkles from coming on. So it's retinol with AL, not a retinol, which is gentler, but it also is more effective than a retinol OL. Lastly, I don't want you to forget your moisture because you're gonna lock in all of those really good ingredients. And what I want you to do is consider using a moisturizer with an SPF in it. Now, Naturium developed this Do Glow Moisturizer SPF of 50. They developed it as an SPF and they gave us the added benefit of the moisture. Nothing can cause us to age 
and look older than sun damage and sun exposure. Please use just a sunless tanner instead of going out and getting your sun. And then on your exposed places, please use a good SPF, something that's going to really keep you very protected. Now, this one from Naturium gets that glow and it gets that super protection from the sun as well. We get a lot of moisture from this. This is a nice thick cream, but again, this will play very pretty underneath makeup. When you first put it on, you can see the white on there, but it doesn't leave a white cast because it's going to sink in very easily. Now, this is not a physical sunscreen. This is a chemical sunscreen, so you know that. They also have a tinted one of these, and they have three different colors I believe that are very forgiving and they really don't leave much of a tint But it can even out your skin just a little bit if you're interested in that I'll make sure I put that link below as well By the way, you might want to wait a minute or two between layers to let that other layer sink in That's what I do But I want to caution you right here is that sometimes at this point we have so much on our face that our makeup might not look good. So you know, I'm going to have another video that follows this one in a week or so that will talk about how we incorporate all of the good skincare ingredients to boost the beauty of our skin, but then how we can use these skincare ingredients and not have texture on our skin, because we put a lot on our skin and have beautiful makeup on top of it. I will be doing a more in-depth foundation routine where you can see how I attack dry skin, textured skin, and then how I put on foundation on top of my face to even everything out and make everything look flawless and beautiful with our foundation. So watch out for that in the next few days. Hope that you did enjoy today's video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, if you have a skincare product that I need to know about, please let us know in the comment section. I always love to read those from you and I'm always trying new things. So thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. Hope that you're all doing really well. Love you much. See you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.